Welcome back to NCTV. Today we're going to take you through the first couple steps of the Chardonnay winemaking process. The backbone to fine winemaking is honing in on vineyard sites and picking the grapes at the optimal ripeness. We picked our Fraser Howard Chardonnay in the early morning of September 9th. It was a beautiful Monday morning and we were able to get the fruit in the winery before it got too hot outside. As the fruit was being picked, Myself and one of my colleagues sat by each bin and sorted through each bin before it came to the winery to ensure that only the finest grapes arrived at our door. An additional sort is done in the winery on a sorting table. To ensure only the finest clusters end up in the press, giving us only the best juice from the pick, here we are dumping the fruit onto the table and we've got two or three guys sorting through, picking out any sunburn, rot, mildew, mold, botrytis, any rocks, bugs, anything besides fine wine grapes. Luckily for us, we did a great job sorting in the vineyard, so there wasn't too much to throw away at the end of the day. After this final sort, the wine goes onto an elevator and up into the press. Our press cycle is very gentle, ensuring only the best tasting juice comes out of the berries. A gentle press is very important, especially with Chardonnay, when you're looking for finesse and very smooth flavors. This is avoided by pressing gently and not crushing seeds and breaking skins. As the wine is pressed, it drops down into the pan and is pumped to the first tank. We set the tank at 55 degrees, settle for three days, rack to a second tank, and inoculate with yeast. Keeping fermentation cool at the beginning, we are extracting only the best flavors and leaving the coarse, burnt flavors behind. These are the first steps in the winemaking process for Chardonnay at Nottingham Cellars. This is a program that we've developed ourselves and are very confident that we will make quality wine year after year. In a later episode, we'll come back and visit Chardonnay and show you how we finish fermentation and get into the cellaring process. Be sure to join us next time as we show you the first couple steps in red wine making. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.